Hi everybody. Washing hands, wearing our masks, and all these things we have to do because things are different now. I know, my question is for you, and I know it's tough, but is living today so different from how God wanted His people to live before in the Bible? Well, let's ask God that. And let's ask the Holy Spirit right now to open our hearts. Holy Spirit, please speak to us. With all these crazy things that are happening and it's, it's tough for, for us sometimes, Lord, we want to ask you, what does your word say? What do you say about all these things we have to do? How do we live for you today? This we pray in Jesus' name. I'm so curious. Let's go find out. And welcome to Kids Church, our online worship service for kids. We're glad you can join us today. If it's your first time, welcome. We are Victory Kids and we exist to train the next generation to honor God and make disciples. Aside from Kids Church, our big kids also have their huddle time. Huddle time is a time after the service where our big kids ages 6 to 12 years old meet with volunteer teachers to discuss what they've learned during the service. These teachers were our kids' church volunteers even before the pandemic. But wait, there's more. As we discuss our lessons in kids' church, kids get to meet and fellowship with others their age too. Let's put ourselves in God's holy presence. Let's remove all the distractions and let's start worshiping God today. In the beginning you were there and I was on your mind And even through the darkest night I can't, I can't deny You are here so close to me your unfailing love is all I need you gave it all to rescue me now I'm free there's nothing more real to me Lord no no one comes close to you
says in James 3 verse 17, But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. My hope and prayer for all of us is that we all would get this wisdom from above. Not just from what other people would say, not just from advices from other people or the knowledge that we gain from reading books, but the actual wisdom that we gain from the Word of God. I hope that all of us are reading the Bible and as we read our Bible, we will gain this wisdom that God would freely give to those who ask Him. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to have your wisdom, Lord. As you've said in your word, ask and you shall receive. And today, we are asking for your wisdom to be with us. We pray that we would be able to impart this knowledge to other people. And we hope that your word will be in their hearts just as it is in ours. Lord, thank you. Bless our family, bless our friends, bless the people around us, and may they also see and have this wisdom from above. Thank you, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Another way of worshiping God is through giving. If you want to give your tithes and offering, please follow the instructions flash on the screen. Konnichiwa! Annyeong! Sawadika! Salut! Ni hao! Shalom! Hola! Kumusta? My name is Teacher JC. And I'm Teacher Plum. And welcome, welcome to Kids, Kids Church, Church for Big Kids. Kids! Shout out to JM Chua and Emmanuel James Amorasa. Hello! Oh, and also we want to congratulate those who guessed our secret message last January 2021. The secret message was, Be the Light this 2021. Today, we are going to be starting a brand new series. And it's called... Living... For God... Today! What's the series about, Teacher Plum? Well, Teacher JC, there are so many things that we have to do these days. But did you know that following these new practices, Practices actually have biblical basis. Mm. And that's what we'll be learning this month. Why we follow this new normal rules. And I'm sure you're starting to get used to the new normal rules like wearing our masks outside, staying at home, taking lots of vitamins, and of course, washing, washing your, your hands! hands. It's so important to wash your hands to avoid getting sick. Yes, because newsflash, our hands are usually dirty. We don't see the germs because they can only be seen under a microscope, but they're there, trust us. Yeah, to better visualize this, we pretended that glitter was a virus and bacteria. Now let's see how fast this germs spread. Hi kids, pretend that my hands Yes. Are dirty. <laughs> Hi kids! Pretend that my hands that have glitters on it are dirty. <laughs> Hi kids! My hands are filled with glitters and pretend that these glitters are germs. Okay. Ooh, a plant. This is so nice. Ooh, a book! Hmm, there's so many dust in the book. I wonder who didn't clean the book. Oh, and look, there's a mirror. Yeah, it's me. Oh, another book. But kids, I have to go. So wait, teacher JC, someone wants to talk to you. Oh, someone wants to talk to me. Hmm. Wait, it's dirty as well. Oh no. Hello. I'll put it on loudspeaker. All right. Bye. There you go. Teacher Plum, I have to go. Now it's your turn. Wow, thank you for that bad acting, Teacher JC. <laughs> wow, let's all give Teacher JC a round of applause for his awesome acting skills. As you saw a while ago, he touched most of the stuff and he even touched my phone. And now I have to fix everything. And he just made a mess of all these books that 
we already fixed earlier today on this plant and even here oh no what happened oh what why are my hands filled with glitter look kids my hands have glitter everywhere glitters are contagious or in our case the germs are passed on to another person without us even shaking our hands that's some bad acting <laughs> well as you saw in the video teacher jc had the glitter first but he passed it on to me without even shaking my hand yeah in the same way we touch different objects each day that have different bacteria or even viruses Ooh, which is why it is important to wash our hands. And not just with alcohol or hand sanitizer, the old-fashioned soap and water will do. And don't forget the back of your palms, the center of your palms, in between your fingers, underneath your fingernails, and also your thumbs. Our hands are clean now. What we know about bacteria, viruses, and washing our hands is called knowledge. And knowledge is something you know. But did you know that there is a next level after knowledge? And that's wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is applying what we know with correct judgment. And that's what the Bible is telling us to do. So with that, let's learn more as we watch this video and listen to the word. Do you know the happy birthday song? Of course you do! Sing it two times and that's how long you should wash your hands. And if you don't have soap and water, you can use sanitizer instead. Washing your hands is important. Every day we hear news about the pandemic and we pay a lot of attention to it. We want better prevention. Keeping our hands clean is one of the most important steps we can take to avoid getting sick from spreading germs to others. Many diseases and conditions are spread because we fail to wash our hands properly with soap and clean running water. In today's topic in Living for God Today, we asked you kids some questions about hand washing. Let's check it out. Uh, I think it's my dad's face mask. I don't touch very disgusting stuff. I Trash can! It would probably be money. So, yep. The biggest thing I've ever touched actually was just the floor. When I needed to throw the trash out. I think the dirtiest thing I've ever touched was mold. I really hate mold. Every time we take the restroom. Washing your hands is not limited to just any anything or any time specifically. When we meet someone uh, otherwise in our family, outside our house. We should wash our hands all the time really. After you eat or when you touch something like, no. We were told to do this because the virus would get on our hands. And when we touch our face, there's a possibility that we could be infected. Sometimes we touch stuff that might infect us, not just dirty stuff, but stuff that will make us sick. We need to be germ free so we can be safe from COVID-19 from any virus. Getting sick from dirty hands isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Something even dirtier can infect our hearts, and it's called sin. We need to be wise not only with our hands, but with our lives. Wisdom in the Bible isn't just for our minds, but for our whole lives. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 to 17, it says, So be very careful how you live. Do not live like those who are not wise. Live wisely. 
I mean that you should use every chance you have for doing good because these are evil times. So do not be foolish with your lives, but learn what the Lord wants you to do. God sent Jesus to give us His wisdom in these evil times. Sin can try to keep us away from God and be open to sickness. Jesus can wash not only our hands clean, but also our hearts and souls. So, in living for God today, live wisely. And don't forget to wash your hands. It's almost a year since the pandemic has been upon us and we have learned to take extra care in order for us not to have the virus. We wash our hands, put on masks, and try to stay healthy. Those are all good things. We do them without really thinking about them. But did you know that there are biblical principles as to why we do them? That is what we will learn in our new series entitled Living for God Today. Hi kids, I'm Pastor Brandel. Welcome to Kids Church. Today we're going to learn about wisdom and its application. And let's take a look at Ephesians 5 verse 15 to 17. It says here, So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Verse 17, don't act thoughtlessly but understand what the Lord wants you to do. These verses not just pertain to living wisely and making good decisions regarding morality. It also applies to making practical decisions, the things that we do every day, and using the mind that God has given us. So the point is this, the Bible tells us to apply wisdom in all our decisions. According to the dictionary, wisdom is applying knowledge with the correct judgment in it. This means that a wise person will think of the best course of action while considering all the facts, especially taking into consideration what God's will is. For example, what should I do? That's the big question. Let's try practicing to apply wisdom in this sample situation. Your sibling, your brother, your sister is having a hard time with his math or her math homework. He comes to you for help. So the question is, should you help him by A, giving him the answer or her the answer, or B, teaching him or her how to answer the homework. What's the answer? Of course, it's letter B. Letter A is actually cheating, and your sibling will never learn how to solve that math problem or the similar equation if you just give them the answer. But if you teach them how math works and how they should come up with the right solution, you are helping them to understand math, and they can answer the similar problems by the future themselves. How about this? You know how germs and viruses could be everywhere and could easily be on any surface that your hands could touch. What should you do? Of course, we need to wash our hands. You see, God has given us the mind, it says in verse 17, to think so we can make the right decisions. He wants us to make the right decisions so we can make the most of every opportunity in verse 16 to bring Him glory in our lives. We will not waste our lives by living foolishly because God has a great plan and a purpose for us. Maybe we should practice. We should put this in our hearts when we practice doing the right thing. I will live my life wisely so God can use me to bring Him glory. In this series, we are applying biblical principles on how to live our present reality which is during the time of pandemic. We do this because just like what we just learned in our lesson last week, we are becoming citizens of heaven. We represent God to this world. When we put on our faith in Jesus, we show everyone that Jesus is our Lord and we are part of His kingdom. Even if we live on earth, we will think, we will act as if we are citizens of heaven because we really are children of God. We will live for God no matter the challenges that surround us every day in this season and even after the season. In our series, Power Truth, it says here, I will live for God no matter what today's challenges bring. As our series, Power Verse says in Philippians 3 verse 20, but we are 
Note that one, we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus lives and we are eagerly waiting for Him to return as our saviors. So put that in our hearts that we are citizens of heaven. We are here on earth, but we live like we are here in heaven because we are children of God. For us to better memorize our series power verse, why don't we sing this one? You know what? Sometimes it's so hard to do the right thing. And actually, it is impossible for us to do the right thing apart from the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts because we are all sinners. We are supposed to go to hell and not have a relationship with God because God is just and He will punish sin. But He is also loving. He is also merciful. That He, that he doesn't want us to be separated from Him. So in God's wisdom, He sent Jesus to die on the cross, to take the punishment for our sins so that we can be forgiven and we can be reconciled to God and have His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to empower us to do the right thing. So my prayer for all of us is that we do the right thing, we act in wisdom, not just because it's pandemic, not just because it is the right thing, but let's do this out of worship, out of gratefulness. God, you know, I can never have that opportunity to go to heaven. Jesus, because you are my King, you saved me. I will do this for you. And that's the prayer for all of us. Amen? Why don't we close in prayer? Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus, that you are wise. Thank you, God, that you've given the mind of Christ to be upon us when you saved us. We pray, Lord, that every day may it be washing our hands because of the pandemic, taking care of ourselves, wearing the things that we need to wear to keep everyone safe and ourselves also safe. Lord, we pray that in the way we act, with our siblings, the way we are with our classmates, the way we, we are with our parents, that we will always worship you and act in wisdom and do the right things based on your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you will give us the power to, to do what is right and in act in wisdom. We are in faith because you are with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Back to you, Teacher JC and Teacher Plum. And we're back. God carefully planned and designed His creation. He didn't just randomly make everything. Yes, God applied wisdom in His creation. And guess what? 
we are created in God's image. That means we also possess the mind to think and to carefully make decisions. That's why the Bible urges us to use the mind that God has given us by living wisely. The Bible is telling us to be careful how we live. We should be wise and not act without thinking. We think about what our actions might result to because we know that hand washing will help us to avoid sickness, then we will wash our hands. And often because we are in a pandemic. Mm -hmm. We will correctly apply the knowledge that we have, just like what the Bible is telling us to do. Mm -hmm. That is why our channel's question for today is, give an example of you applying wisdom. I have an example. Mm. What's your example? Knowledge is knowing that when you touch a hot pan, you'll get burned. And wisdom is not touching the mm, hot pan. Good point. Sometimes we know it's hot, but we still touch it. That's not wisdom. Yes. So share an example in the comments section and we'll have fun reading your answers. And for your family con, Conversations, conversations with, with your, your family. family. Here is the question. What is one way you can display wisdom at home? Mm -hmm. We encourage you to talk about this with your parents and siblings so you can hear each other's thoughts and ideas. And that's it for our Kids Church service for the week. Don't forget to like this video and, and subscribe. subscribe to our channel and, and hit that notification bell. bell to always be notified of our new videos each week. So, see you next week, everybody! Bye! Bye and God bless! Oh, wow. Wow, that was a wonderful word. So refreshing. And I know it's tough for all of us nowadays. You can't see your friends. You have to go online for school. Yeah, wash hands and wear masks. You know, all these little things that we have to do that have changed our lives because of the new normal. What are your challenges? And I'm very curious. Have you ever had to do something that was weird or tough for you, but you realized in the end it was a wisdom from God. It made your life better and it was for your good. Please, why don't you click on the Zoom link, talk to our coaches and our friends, and let's share just how tough it is nowadays, what our challenges are, but how refreshing and fulfilling it is to read, live, and follow God's Word. Okay? I'm so excited to hear from you. Let's be refreshed.